Welcome to another GA Canine Training video, folks. I hope you enjoy this one because this is where we're introducing Hope to her brand new handler, Carl, for the first time. They've never worked together before, and Hope puts on a grand performance. We're working through a pretty heavily contaminated area with a lot of homeless encampments, lots of cross traffic, lots of people going back and forth through this area, plus we're right next to the freeway, Highway 26. Hope is meticulous, and one of my most favorite parts about this is we have a little backtrack where our trail layer uh, couldn't find his way through something and had to turn around and find a different direction and hope just works it perfectly. Enjoy the video. And really the only thing you need to do with her Carl is just relax and keep a nice easy pace. We don't want to run, don't want to push, and you don't want to pull too hard and try to keep that lead just right over the top of her back and she'll just do fine. She doesn't lead you astray very often. I mean it's very rare that she doesn't work it out very well. Sorry. It's me trying to get good video. Good, way to stop when she goes off to the left or to the right. And you can tell she's not committed by relaxing and kicking back a little bit. You let her work it out and let her come back on her own. So we got an intersection coming and how she works it is gonna be a real big deal. We wanna let her work it the way she wants to, but be prepared to help her if necessary. So right now she's coming back to the odor. Good. Okay, you got odor right there. You see that? So very nice, nice little easy road crossing. And considering how windy it is, that was not easy. The other thing that you have it to your disadvantage is, you know, we're, we're pushing 85 degrees right now and you got the direct sun sitting right on top of that concrete. So those scent vapors aren't on the ground. What they're doing is they're up, right, raise it up in the air and they're moving around. Okay, so go to a little shorter lead because you might be getting close to the road. Or not. Obviously he was thinking the same thing. Let her get let her get down in here. Obviously he had the same little conundrum in here. I bet you he Oh, well she's taking a shit too. Let's let her go back a little bit and see what she does. OK, 
Okay, you want to go with a shorter lead because you're near that traffic, okay, brother? Watch that traffic. Okay, let her go, let her go. Just keep a short lead. Keep it up off the ground behind you. You can have a little bit more. Okay, you just got something just happened right there. You just got a little alert, but where is it coming from? Just wait it out. Don't go anywhere yet, because I don't know where that wind is coming from. A little shorter leash, you're in the traffic. Dude. Watcher. Good, go with her. Keep that lead off the ground behind you. Might be getting a little bit of an alert. Yeah, is she wagging her tail? Yeah, I think you're getting kind of close. Oh yeah, you found him. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, boy! Yeah, boy! Yeah, boy! Oh, Little girl! Wow! Oh, that's a good girl! That's a good girl! Yeah! Oh. Oh. That's going to be a great video. That was an awesome trail. Did you see what we did? Yeah. I could hear you coming though. As soon as you got into the thick stuff, I was like, oh yeah. You kind of got to the place where there's some real thick brush and you're going, hmm, what the fuck do I do? And kind of went back around and then went over the road? Yep. Okay, that's exactly what she did. Yep. Watching folks, I hope you enjoyed this GAK9 training video. Uh, more importantly, if you like what we do, if you like this style, if you like the dog's performance and you want to see how we do things, make sure you check out my new book. It's called The Tao of Trailing and it's available at GAK9. Canine.com.